Luke Adams from Kilbride lost his stick, and here's an opportunity. Jeffrey Fredheim couldn't pull the trigger there. They had an odd man rush going, but he should. He shut down both Tynan and Dano Lashudo. as Balassi and Armiou played his best game for St. John's. Oh, there's a goal there and a deflection by the Springfield Falcons. Just 1.56 in, and we'll have to watch to see what happened here. Johnny Albert looks back at Peter Budai, and now he's looking at Melchior and saying, what the heck just happened? Long outlet feed, here's Broussard, charging to the goal, going in, and he, let's see, are we gonna see a penalty shot? 5-12, here's Broussard on the penalty shot. Evening things up for the ice caps, Broussard scores! A beauty by the Windsor, Ontario native, Emmer tied in one. Now a turnover here as the puck was given away. It's out in the slot. It's loose down there. And finally. You know. The sign that was on the boards because that's how, <laughs> that's how much he got squished. Goal by Jaffrey. Jaffrey just snuck out from the corner and backhanded it through Scott Monroe. As we're talking about Greg Smith. The bird brings a little luck there. Anderson moves in, one-handed big save by Peter Budai. Milano, here's a feed, and Josh Anderson's got a lane to the net. Then he tripped and fell, and it was taken away by Stoikowicz. Played here in the second period. They're being out shot 16 to 12. Great save! Oh, Peter Budai! Back for Riley, who got it down low for the captain. Jaffrey backdoor, Will O'Neill drags it from they score! What a goal by Chase Ballacy! His 21st of the season! And oh, what vision by Jaffrey and O'Neill and Ballacy with a highlight real marker! And 18.36 of the second, St. John's three, and Springfield won another honey of a goal! For Big Anderson to come out of there, he'll go back to the point. Lowry over here, here's a shot. Boot, I made the save. He's down and out, and they score for Hetherington. Over here, Larkin a shot. Boot, I made the save. Oh, and Collins had an open side, and he couldn't put it in. It's a puck possession. Backdoor feet, great save. Another save by Peter Budai. Oh, baby, was that enormous. And now it's getting out of hand down there. Need to bring it in. Gibbons in the slot. Labrie, big defensive play by Chris Fredhaim. Then Lapon turned it over. And the Ice Caps getting bakery like here. Tynan over for Labrie. A shot he scores. Oh, my goodness. Saints want to collapse. Everybody. And now we're down to 3.35 in overtime. Opportunity here, it's it, but they score. The Springfield Falcons have won the hockey game, and they're still alive, and the Ice Caps will lose it that way on a blown call, and a play that appeared to be offside. It was let go, and St. John's lose their final game ever as the AHL affiliate of the Winnipeg Jets. tough. I mean, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of sleep in this afternoon, and uh, my kids got me a little bit emotional before I came to the rink. How so? They, uh, they were asking, uh, my little girl sat me down and asked me if I was sad that it was going to be my last hockey game in, in St. John's, and uh, you, could, you could see a little bit, uh, you could see the look in her face where she was sad that this was the last game she was going to be able to go watch in St. John's, so uh, it was it was tough. I mean, it was great to be able to take the family out on the ice there at the end and get a picture in front of the net, and uh, see how proud uh, my kids have been uh, proud of me over the last uh, three four years and I mean it means a lot to be able to share the moment with them and, and my wife obviously so uh, they've uh, they've went through a lot over the last last four years and uh, it's great to share this moment with them it's a great hockey city I mean I uh I had played here a couple of times for, with Manitoba against the, the Leafs there uh, in the lockout season. It was my first year, the last last year with the Leafs, and uh, I didn't realize though how how great the people were, how great the culture was, uh, and and how big the fan base was. Uh, it's uh, something that 
A lot of players are very envious of me being able to play here four years in, in front of these fans, and uh, it's, it's been great. I mean, uh, I wouldn't have rather been anywhere else in the last four years. Just how nice everybody is, honestly, though. Uh, you know, uh, from, from people helping me, uh, I know it's funny, but uh, last year with shovels in the wintertime, uh, this, this nice little lady uh, across the street let me borrow her shovels, and every time I went over there to borrow her shovel, she made me cookies. Um, just everybody helping out around the city, and uh, it, was, it was a pleasure to play for uh, this organization in front of these fans, um, people that appreciate hockey this much. It's, it's a great feeling, and, you know, we were lucky enough to to win an Eastern Conference Championship last year and you know it was pretty special and you can see from that video that they showed at the end that with the, the fans and cheering for us it was an awesome special moment. I've been here four years in St. John's and um, what I've learned over the four years is, is all the fans want every single night is, the, is they want guys who work hard they want the team to work hard they want to make sure that the effort is being there every single night because they understand that's what they're paid for um, and I really respect that. I, I really, uh, I've really come to respect that that, it, that it's black and white, and making sure that uh, that the work ethic is on the ice every single night, um, and just the the city and, and the province, um, the people, real friendly people, and um, I really, uh, we love it here. We yeah. love it here, and, and this this is um, until that announcement took place. This is home for us. This uh, this is really where our roots are. Our kids. Um, tons of friends my wife the same lots of friends myself whenever there is a free minute which there aren't many of at this at this level um, good friends in the community um, we are going to miss it here we're really going to miss the st john's they've uh, they've made this our home for the last four years